Uh, my name is Peter Breen. I play first five and also flanker for the Targo side. <laughs> Uh, so what we'll start with, uh, what we need to find out is your, is, uh, is, is your full name, your age and your nickname. So if we can just pass the mic along and then once we've done that we'll ask each of them a few uh, more individual questions and then uh, dig, a, dig a bit deeper. So here we go Sam. Thank you Peter. Uh, my name is Sam Anderson Heather, I'm 25 years old. Uh, been known by Simo, uh, not Sumo, which Slim insists on calling me every day. Just, <laughs> can you please stop that, Slim? Um, or Samanyak of late. Uh, kia ora, my name's Kuramati Tama Tiwirirangi, otherwise known as Tama. I'm um, 28 years old. Uh, <laughs> and uh, my nickname's Tum Tum. <laughs> His nickname is actually Granddad, so. Yeah. Oh. Um, sorry. Uh, my name's <laughs> My name's Jaden Spence. I'm 21 years old. Um, I've had a range of nicknames uh, over the <laughs> over the years. Most common one these days seems to be uh, Dog Rob. I don't know why. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> I'm Paul William Grant, I'm 25, nickname's PG. Uh, my na full name's Josh Renton, I'm 19 years old. And what was the other question? <laughs> oh, my nickname is Rents. Uh, kia ora everyone, uh, my full name, Slim, is actually Te Horangi Walden. Um, so just remember that for next time. Um, I'm 20 years old and nickname, well, my brothers always call me Peaches because I used to wear a peach shirt when I was young and I was quite a big boy when I was at primary. Yeah. <laughs> what a good thing to that, eh? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, Josh Renton, the, uh, the young buck new to the side. Uh, so uh, you, like you're, you're 16 now and you're at uh, university. So can you just tell us all just uh, what, what you're studying? Um, studying commerce with a major in accounting. Fantastic. So, uh, orientation week, O week, how did you get on? Yeah, it was uh, pretty good up until about Thursday when I was supposed to be playing rugby. Then got rung Friday night at about 11 o'clock, got told I wasn't, so I had a good night Friday. Good stuff. So what, uh, what was the event on Friday that you attended? Uh, it was the Highlanders game. Good, very good. Okay, so you play for Kaika, right? During O week, did you score? <laughs> <laughs> I may have. Or you either scored or you didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. So uh, we'll just hit you with a quick question. Now, one thing I didn't mention is you guys can't answer any of these questions with yes, yep, or uh, or yeah. Otherwise, you'll lose your seat. Okay. So, question for you. When cheese gets its picture taken, what does it say? Pardon? <laughs> when cheese gets its picture taken, what does it say? Um, unsure. <laughs> That's incorrect. <laughs> right, we'll move on from, uh, from Renton. We're going to go to... Uh, to, to Jaden Spence. Cool, so we've got Grandad or Dog Roll, what do you prefer? Dog Roll. Dog roll. And then, uh, Granddad. Probably Dog Roll to be honest, Grandad. <laughs> right, we'll stick with Dog Roll. So, uh, so whereabouts are you from, Dog Roll? Uh, Alexandra. <coughs> cool, tell us one great thing about Alexandra. Beautiful weather, great people and great scenery, Pete. Awesome, and your, uh, so I guess one of the questions that most people are wondering is, why did you decide not to play for Kaikaroi this year? <laughs> uh, um, I don't know, it seems to be a reoccurring thing for me, Pete. Um, I don't know, I guess I just want to save myself up for IT in my style. That's fair enough. It would be good if we could all do that. That's right. Okay, then. Uh, next question. We'll go uh, your, your favourite player in the team. Ben Smith. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I see he's had a shave tonight, so that's good. And uh, you're the best-looking player in the team, in your opinion. 
Ezra Taylor's just come into the team and struck it pretty nicely, I think. He's... <laughs> We'll try to get those two rooming together on the trip. <laughs> so basically what, the, what your question is, now this is for Ashley Ford Ranger to win for yourself. So uh, compliment of Dunedin City Ford. Your question is, what is the difference between a duck? <laughs> um, say it again. <laughs> What is the difference between a duck? Um, I don't know, a dive? Oh. <laughs> no, that's incorrect. <laughs> Must out on the Ford Ranger. <laughs> right, so we're going to chuck a scenario at you. Now, injury, late in the season, we're on tour. It's hit us pretty hard, we've lost a few players. And you're, uh, you're at centre, and a few people have been replaced. So you're going down the field, 60 metres out, got a draw and pass, one man to beat. You've got Grant Hubbard on your outside, Slim Hubbard, the manager, and Jocko Parker, the masseuse, on your inside. Who do you pass the ball to and why? <laughs> no, um, <laughs> show and go. <laughs> no, um, oh, I don't know. Pro probably Jocko, to be honest. Jocko, uh, yeah. Or Slim, he could probably talk his way to the child, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> good answer, good answer. Right, we'll get a chocolate. Awesome, mate. Right, we're going to move on to Sam Anderson Heather. The uh, won the final this year. Round of applause. It's an Eden boys. Cool, man. So, won the final. Great week. What's, uh, what's happening tonight to continue the celebrations? Uh, tonight there is a party at 49A Vogel Street, so you're all more than welcome to come along. Um, free drinks, nibbles, etc. So you're all welcome. Fantastic. And that final, I was there watching, a bit like deja vu. Tyree, hot and attack, looking like they're going to get another penalty, then they went for the drop goal. What's going through the head? No, oh, shit, not again. <laughs> but um, luckily, Cosy felt sorry for us, so he just shanked it a little and. Here we are. Oh, so you'd say Cozzy shagged the kick? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Sweet, mate. And you're a bit of a hunter and a gatherer. Uh, what's, uh, what's something you've caught lately and, uh, and whereabouts? Um, well, it's actually been a long time since I was hunting or gathering. Thanks to a friend of mine who borrowed the boat we fish with, actually crashed it off Green Island. And we had to go out and salvage it, so the only thing I've caught lately was Tullard's Spriggett training yesterday, so thanks for that, bro. <laughs> uh, mate, very good. Sweet as in your question, what seven letter word has hundreds of letters in it? Hundred? Incorrect. Throw it out to the crowd. Seven letter word. Ah, very good, Michael Collins. Round of applause for Mike. <laughs> right, last, last scenario for Sam. So we're playing uh, Southland in the final. All the kickers are off the field, all the backs are injured. Can't take the kick. We need a front rower to step up and slot a 30 metre penalty kick from the front row. Who do you select? Oh, I'd probably step up and take that myself. Um, <laughs> I used to kick goals in under eights, I think, so, yeah. Okay, we'll go with some on that one. Nice, I like it. Righto, moving right along. We'll go down to Tay, new fella to the scene. Tay, can you uh, just say your full name for us? Tay Horangi. Your full name, that's middle names, last name. Tay Horangi Thomas Walden. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Sweet Tay, so uh, whereabouts are you from? I'm um, from the Mighty Naki, mate, Taranaki. Yep, Mighty Naki, and you're away with the New Zealand 20s. Can you just tell us maybe uh, a favourite game or, or something fun that happened away while you're on tour? Um, yeah, didn't mind the Fijian game where I think we were playing against 12 players, so it made it quite easy for us in the midfield. We just had to catch and pass, so it was probably a favourite for me. Yep. And uh, something fun that you guys did while you away off the rugby? Oh, we ventured to a nightclub, it was actually quite a good look, um, got a bit of a taste of the French nightlife, so yeah, no, it was exciting. Very good, very good. Okay, now, you guys did the, did the haka for the New Zealand 20s, correct? Yes. Oh, so it is. So uh, I guess you should show us all, get up. 
and uh, we just want to we just want to see your uh, your best pukana for the crowd. Oh my! Well, here we go, young fella. <laughs> so just up standing, just in front, and just give us uh, give us your best shot. Oh my god! Just get your iPhones out, everyone, if you want to. I wasn't the late one. <laughs> Fantastic round of applause. Okay, now for you, Tate, simple game. You might have seen it before. I'm going to give you two things, and you're just going to say the first thing that come, comes to your mind. So, nice and loud. So, for an example, chicken or beef? Chicken. Very good. So, that's how it's going to work, right? So, nice and loud. Chicken or beef? Good. Very good. Right or left? Right. Big or little? Big. Case or brownie? Brownie. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I would have said that. <laughs> Granddad or dog roll? Granddad. <laughs> Very good. Man. Tui or spades? Tui. Ooh. <laughs> at the front of the stage. Space, space, space. I was just thinking I don't like Tui, so I think it's more. What's that on the front of your t-shirt? Space. Space. Righto. Blue or red? Blue. Very good. Blue or gold? Blue. Incorrect. Blue and gold. Quasi or Brini? Quasi. <laughs> and uh, another one, Ford or Holden? Oh, uh, you have to go Ford, man. <laughs> <laughs> got that one. <laughs> <laughs> you got through, right? Who have we got left? <laughs> just, uh, just Peach. So the last man, Paul Grant, Targo captain. Once again, congratulations. Round of applause. Now, Peach, I've asked you this before. If you could be an animal for a day, what animal would that be? <laughs> I'd be a golden lamb. They've got a pretty good, pretty good life sitting around at home. What, what would your name be? My name would be... <laughs> Pete. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one other question. Why do they call you PG? Because it's my first initial and last initial. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, uh, now you're, you're from Belclutha. What's the best thing about Belclutha? Um, Tony Brown went to school there. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, um, it's a great place to visit. And has, uh, has Belclutha got FBOS there? <laughs> Yes. Oh, you can't say yes. Do I lose my chair? Jump down. Just grab a seat in the front. <laughs> okay, uh, and just another question. How do you feel about this, uh, this group of players looking forward to, to this season and, um, yeah, looking ahead? Yeah, really excited looking ahead. Um, we've definitely got the same, got the potential here to build on last year what we achieved and um, looking around, it feels like there's a real good balance of guys. Um, both on and off the field, which I think is a big part of rugby as well. So, really looking forward to the season. Fantastic. And uh, they're going to make a movie about Paul Grant. What type of movie would it be, and who would play Paul Grant? Anyone in Hollywood? Um, I'd say Brad Pitt. <laughs> um, oh, um, movie would probably be set in Roman times. <laughs> Um, it would be based around a. <laughs> it'd be based around a, a ship that come aground. <laughs> but luckily, Brad Pitt saved the day. Uh, keep going. How did he save the day? Oh, I'm pleased you asked, actually. <laughs>
Uh, um, after running the ground, you know, we're getting pretty low. <laughs> um, we're in Rome, it's pretty hot, so we decided to drink a lot of space. Um, just then, uh, Ford drove past. <laughs> um, and luckily, More FM was there to capture the and put it over the radio. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> grab, grab a seat, Pete. So just to wind up, we're just going to go through and uh, just the, th the thing you're most looking forward to this year, we'll leave Pidge out because he just spoke about it, but uh, yeah, just sign off with, with what you're most looking forward to. Start with the young fellas. Um, making my debut for the team if I get the opportunity. Yeah, definitely the same, making my debut, putting the blue and gold jersey on. I'd love to add to the points tally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, hard to say, really, there's a lot to enjoy uh, playing with this team, so um, just looking forward to a good season. <coughs> yeah, um, probably having a crack at the Ranfurly Shield, um, <clears throat> and obviously trying to win that championship and just play with all the boys again. Sweet, so that's us and we just have a nice round of applause for these six fine young men.